coach six players in double digits tonight. There's so many positives there. Just how much was this a full team win? Uh, yeah, the ball movement was great. You know, um, for the most part, the ball movement was really, really good, uh, which is, you know, evident in the 34 assists. Might be a season high for us, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I thought uh, Pat Beverly did a great job tonight, really setting the tone, whether it be with his intensity, his defense, his focus. Um, and then, you know, it's 12 assists. Setting the tone, especially in that fourth quarter that, you know, we talked about going into the game. How much did he create that energy? Yeah, I mean, they, they had tightened the game up to about a dozen, I think. And um, he gets a steal and, and causes a run out. And, you know, it's, now it's uh, 15 or something like that. And then another play and one. And, you know, just we didn't have to win the game twice. Uh, you know, tight down the stretch. Got to just seal the deal for us. Are you pleased with this effort? Are you happy with what you saw tonight? Yeah, I'm happy with the. Um, you know, we just we came in, we put the work in. I thought we outworked them for the most part. Um, you know, I thought there. You know, we did a good job of being focused, playing on the back to back after a tough tough loss last night. Uh, you know, got great bench minutes, got great bench production, which is what you need in the back to back. So yeah, very happy, very happy. You talked about last night about you know some of the things you were trying to get Ant to do he, he wasn't quite doing last night. How did he respond uh, to what you wanted to do tonight? What the game was kind of bringing him tonight? Uh, you know he was a little bit more assertive, a little bit quicker decision making out there in his drives. Um, you know his shot was going for, from from three, but they were mostly either in the rhythm of the offense or you got into them pretty quickly. Um, you know I wasn't a big fan of his approach defensively to start the game, you know, um, which is why we, we kind of went in another direction early. Uh, but, you know, he responded to that and was a lot more dialed in. Might have been Torian's best game uh, as a Timberwolf. Today. Yeah. Uh, for him, it's been it's been a up and down year. Yeah. Right? And he's coming out of the COVID protocols, obviously. Yep. How much can he add to the mix if he can – Put up more nights like this. Well, it. tremendously. You know, I mean, I, I loved his aggressiveness tonight. He was really, really uh, aggressive. He was committed to his shot. Played off the catch. Finished strong. Really good um, performance by him. And then, you know, then he, he then he was driving and kicking later on, and you know, hit some timely threes. So. He was kind of out there with that that group. Uh, you mentioned that the bench production, Jaden. Yeah. Uh, Second quarter, uh, Jalen as well kind of broke the game open. Mm -hmm. Did that unit in particular do well tonight? Yeah, they shared the ball. Oh. Yeah, they, they shared the ball and made quick decisions. I thought they attacked and got to the paint very well, uh, and they guarded. You know, they, they they there was a lot. That, you know, they guarded. They were able to give themselves a cushion where they didn't have so much pressure on their offense. Yeah. Um, because I remember you said before the game, you know, you were concerned about the Fallon. Uh, yeah. You know, you've got an aggressive defense, forced a lot of turnovers, but uh, Fallon was a concern. And just wanted to us uh, from, from you, how do you assess uh, they perform on that? Because obviously the Clippers are lacking guys who draw fouls. Yeah. And they couldn't take advantage of that tonight. Yeah. I mean, uh, I thought we played really good defense without fouling for most of the game. And then in the fourth, we fouled a lot. You know, just kind of got a little bit loose with the fouling. For the most part, I thought we did a good job of playing with, with better uh, better hands and better position. We'll go to the Zoom break. We'll go Jason and Dave. Jace, go ahead. Hey, Chris, is Torian somebody who you maybe can see giving you more than you've gotten uh, maybe in the first half-ish of the season here? Well, I, I think so. You know, he, he had a great preseason for us. Um, and, you know, it's, it's a little, probably unfair – uh, on Torian, you know, because he's had a bit of a yo-yo role and, you know, some of that's our doing and, you know, some of that's just he had made shots. He got a lot of good looks at one point in the season and, you know, that, but we've said all year long, that kind of stuff always comes back around and hopefully for now, for him, it's coming back around. Dane. Chris, uh, with, with Nas Reed, um, what have you just seen from him in terms of his growth as a pick and roll player, not only as a scorer, but tonight seemed to be passing it really well on the, the short roll also. Yeah. His, his pocket awareness has grown. Um, you know, I think he, he's a very good passer, like in general, he sees the floor extremely well. Um, 
you know, I think uh, he's also a really good scorer and probably sees himself a little bit more as a scorer, but we've just been trying to get these guys to understand what that pocket looks like when they, when they, when they get in there every night, every defense is a little different. When he did a good job of finishing around the low man, he did a good job of kicking, did a job rolling hard. Um, he's a really good playmaker. It's a luxury to have, particularly in your second unit where you can run so much offense with him and through him. And then you, uh, you mentioned with the, the rotation was a little bit different in the, the first quarter, or at least it was different than it was last night. Um, yeah. And you talked before the game about some of those blended lineups. What kind of went into your, your rotation change tonight? Yeah. I wanted to try to, you know, we want to try to get Jalen on the ball as a point guard, but we knew we needed, you know, some, some defensive help out there alongside of them. Um, so that was, you know, J.O. and uh, T.P. were able to go out there and help bolster that lineup, give us some some defensive presence, too, uh, as well as, you know, as well as scoring, which Jalen brings. Hey, Chris, you've talked about how you can coach Ant really hard. Uh, how does he respond to, like, when you have to take him out early because the defensive intensity and whatnot isn't there? Um, is he pretty good in those spots? Yeah, he's always he, he responds well. You know, I think, it, you know, uh, he, he responds really well. I think he's a, he's a competitor, um, needs to know that, you know, we, we, we have a standard that we're trying to play to. And, you know, we, I, you know, I didn't think he played very well last night. So it was my job to make sure that he was dialed in to play well tonight. And uh, I didn't like to start. So, um, you know, we had to shake it up a little bit. Awesome. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Chris.